How's it going YouTube? My name is Joel or Nobody Epic and I've got a hard hat on today because in this episode of Crewcraft we are going to be getting to work so hope you're ready for some building and some talking and an all-around good time. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I've done a lot of pre-work before this episode and not a lot to the point where you would say hmm he's very effective with how he spends his time but I got some stuff done so I'm going to show you guys that and then we are going to get into the comment feedback section of the video and then we'll do what we're going to do. See I got some XP stuff that's a little bit of spoiler but a um, little bit of spoilerino for what I want to do later but first I want you guys to notice that there's more sheep. There's been a lot of sheep lovemaking happening in this barn with no roof. And I tried to put a roof on the barn. I actually spent uh, an hour of my time doing that. And probably like half an hour. And I didn't like the roof. So I just took the entire roof off. Wow, that's like the walking dead over here. Uh, let's try Let's try to get a kill feed right here. Oh, also as you'll notice while I'm killing these zombies, I upgraded the damage on uh, Mr. Hot Beaver, the one-shot cleaver here. He's actually a one-shot cleaver now. If Look at this sheep trying to escape. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Get back in there. Uh, it's actually a one-shot cleaver as long as the enemies aren't wearing armor, so that's good. I put a Nether Star modifier on it. Oh, that's part of the comment feedback. Let me give credit where credit's due. A couple of people said this, but uh, where's the comment? Oh, I am pretty sure if you add another starter your beaver, you can add more modifiers to which to it, which will allow you to make the sharpness higher. Smiley face from Jerome Morris. Thank you, Jerome. I knew. Oh my God! I'm jumping all over the place right here, but I did want to also mention this is going to be the last video I make with my old computer because my new one just came in today. It's sitting out in my living room, and I have to put it together at my new place. But yeah, very excited to not deal with the vacuum vortex of destruction computer anymore. But I appreciate you letting me know about the Nether Star modifier. I knew about the, what is it, diamond and emerald block modifier or diamond and gold block. But I didn't know about the Nether Star one, so I just took a Nether Star that I got from a lucky block, put it on the sword, and added, I think, 60, uh, 70 more quartz, or just however many it allowed me to add. And that took the sharpness up to, well, I took it up to 23 attack damage. I think it was at like 16.5. I can't remember specifically, but yeah. So we are going to make some more baby sheep. Avert your eyes if you're under the age of 18 because stuff is about to get graphic. Give me something good, babe. Make my baby sheep all day. Give me something good. Okay, so we have two black sheep, but I'm sure they'll be great members of the family. Two yellow sheep, two orange sheep, and a brand new purple. So that's good. We got a lot of colors going on. I appreciate diversity in my sheep barn. And what do we what do we want to do now? Uh, okay, let's get into the comment feedback before I forget about that. Also, I do want to mention I made a pick because I didn't like having a hammer that took out four... Um, like blocks at once it was kind of inconvenient for trying to do little sculpting things so i made a pick called it the purple pickle because it's purple and it's a pick and then there's just an old somewhere in there but yeah and then i uh i was reading the comments too and i realized i put an emerald and auto repair on this so it's like the world's most durable shovel but that's kind of a waste of modifiers so i might make a new shovel too i don't know not this video but Whatever. Okay, let's get back into the comment feedback. Uh, what do we got here? Roy and Camp says, go to the nether, mine the white things hanging standing, put it in your crafting table, bone meal. So thank you for that, Roy and Camp. I will remember that for future reference when I need bone meal. And baseball player 861 says, you say fire so weird. LOL, fire, fire, fire. Let me know if I say fire weird, guys. I live in Michigan, so I don't know if I have a northern accent that people from other parts of the country can recognize, but if so, I'll try to correct that because, oh, do we have an escapee over here? Are you trying to escape? Yeah, let that be a lesson. Let that be a lesson to your sheep friends. I'm a strict father. I'm sorry. Uh, you can't leave the colorful sheep barn or you get killed. That was kind of sick. Uh, but if you don't like it, deal with it. Last piece of comment feedback that was kind of relevant to what I was doing in the last episode. From 102 Bober, you can craft name tags. So I actually looked up the recipe for that. Um, 
Why can't I see my recipe bar? I must have hit some button. Oh, there's some hotkey for bringing up the recipe bar. I don't remember what it is. It's E, but it's like, well, it's not E, because E is what you actually use to search, but it's like three or four or F1 or something that if you hit it, it takes it away, but whatever. It's a couple of slimes and paper and some string, I think. So we can rename Daryl or Carol if they so choose. Right now, Daryl used to be Daryl, then he became Carol, now he's Daryl again. That's kind of a whole thing. I don't even want to get into it. And then this was supposed to be Carol, but now uh, he or she chooses to have no name. Uh... But, I don't know. It's their lifestyle choice. If they want to change their names later, we can do that. If not, that's fine, too. It's 2015. Let's go with the times. And this hobgoblin was hanging out over here. i got to get my storage area all situated. I'm maybe going to do that today. Uh, this hobgoblin was hanging out right here, so I put a chest next to him. So he could have something to hang out next to. But then he jumped down, so I think he's injured. Yeah, he's, he's got like half hearts right now, but he had a really decent trade. You can give him nine gold blocks for an emerald. So he's essentially a uh, a gold transfer system, transferring currency from gold to emerald. So if I ever need a bunch of emeralds, I'll just get a bunch of gold because, well, both of them are pretty rare. So I don't know how effective that would be, but that was interesting to me because I didn't know how goblins could trade anything besides those, uh, what are the nuggets that they like to trade? What are, uh, cobbledite. Yeah, cobbledite. What? what uh, G18 is trying to get in his episode. So, yeah, let's take you inside and you can see what I've been doing in here. I wanted to put my library type area uh, kind of hanging over the water. This is kind of my vision for what I was explaining that I wanted my house to be inside of the mountain. I, this is kind of decent. I don't know. It looks kind of unnatural, I think, with this overhang here, but if you guys like it, let me know if you have any other ideas. Just suggest them in the comments. You'll probably see them in the comment feedback for next episode. Uh, so it's kind of like an overhanging library area. I should probably expand it so I can have a chair in there. But This block is where my enchantment table is going to be. And I actually had an enchantment table that I got from a lucky block. But I think one of my friends stole it or something. Maybe I should just make some lucky blocks right now. And see if I can get an enchantment table. I'll just use all the gold I have. And then if I need more gold, I can just go mining later. Alright, so I have some gold. And some cobble. I know that you need to make a dropper. And then, yeah. So let's just attempt this. No. Um... Yes, maybe. Okay. Lucky block with luck zero. And how do you add more luck to it? Do you just add more gold? I, if I remember from my friends' videos that they've made about this. Uh, yep, that would add 48% luck if I added more gold. All right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, I got a phone notification. Seven half lucky blocks and then two wild cards. We'll put the rest of our gold away and then try to get an enchantment table from Lucky Blocks. It's kind of like the lottery. I suppose. I don't know. I shouldn't have all of my good stuff if I'm going to do this. I should probably not do it at night. Oh, Speedy's on, so I can't sleep the night off. Uh, what am I going to do? Let's put some of my stuff away that I wouldn't want to lose if I died. <laughs> like, apples are important. And this stuff in here, I guess, and then, uh, whatever, the rest of this is fine. Um, okay, so, we wait till morning, and then we go break some lucky blocks. I just accidentally placed a lucky block here when I was trying to get food, because I put food away. I'm getting some notifications, so... Let's peer offline real quick. Uh, where's my food? I'm gonna need to break that lucky block, on I? I only got three pieces of meat there. Well, let's get some more food. Oh, speaking of food, this week, uh, I made cookies for the first time. I know, I'm a fully grown adult. I should have done that before, probably, but I haven't. And they're not just any cookies. They're a special family cookie recipe. I realized I had steak in the furnace, too, so let me just grab that out. Um, my dad makes these really, really delicious cookies that are super sweet, but they also have a little bit of, 
uh, how would I describe them? A little bit of salt to them. I don't know. That probably sounds gross. Like oh, everyone loves salty cookies, right? No, but they they have the perfect mix of 95% sweet with just this 5% salt. That's mm, it gives it to me good, and it, they're moist and soft, chocolatey, uh, and I love them. And I said, Dad, I'm gonna need this cookie recipe. I'm gonna be a man soon. I'm getting married. I need to know how to make these cookies so you can pass them on to my generation and I can pass them on to my children if I have them. Uh, <laughs> good luck to them with life. I don't know what that means, but I wanted to have this cookie recipe so my dad gave it to me and I made them and I did pretty damn good for my first try. They were delicious, so I was very happy about that. My big accomplishment of the week. And I have to open this lucky block, it has 0% luck, so it could be good or bad. Hopefully it doesn't blow everything up. If it does, I'll cry, uh, but I can't just, I do have a silk pick actually, so I could take it away. Maybe I should be safe. There's literally a silk, not a silk pick, but a silk hammer right here. I could just do this. Okay, <laughs> I was acting like it was gonna be a big deal, but we'll just put that away and um, yeah, we'll do the two potentially unlucky lucky blocks first. I guess I'll just do it over in the winter area here. I'm right on the edge of an arctic biome, so there's a lone hobgoblin over here, and he will witness what is going to happen. Got a gold pick. Uh, wait, what's it have on it? Ooh, it actually has really good stuff on it, so I might hold on to that. Uh, this is the other lucky block with no luck on it. Uh, one is lucky, one is not. What a fun game. You can actually, I should be able to see, right, if I, oops. I don't know. I chose the not lucky one. Oh my god. <laughs> Thankfully, I was a character that can fly and a blaze. So, that was not an issue for me. But, ooh, that actually is really cool because now I can explore this mine shaft. Uh, so that was really nice. And uh, so this must be the lucky one. Yay, a bunch of horses. Oh, I love these horses. These are like the zombie and skeleton horses. I'm gonna make another barn or another stable and bring these over here, but I'll just, they can just stay in the winter area for now because uh, my house is right over here. So next episode or whenever I feel like making a stable, I can come grab these and I can explore this mine shaft when I feel like having a talky talk episode, kind of like what this is, but. Oh, and if anyone, knows in the, if anyone in the comment knows what Tanzanite does, if it does anything, please let me know because I see that block there or that ore and it looks really pretty to me but I have no idea what it does so let's open the rest of these I don't want to take up too much time we'll just move through them uh, is this a wishing well no I guess it's just water oh oh no it is a wishing well okay yeah so I stood on the pressure plate got the potatoes and uh, I don't want the poisonous ones there is a wow I'm blanking on what this is right now that is really embarrassing Beacon. It says at the top. There's a beacon there. So I know, I know what a beacon is, guys. Don't call me a noob. Uh, but there's a beacon right there. So uh, let's open another one of these. Ooh, diamond horse armor. That's going to look good on one of these pretty horses. Yeah, you want to be my friend because I got pretty armor. Get away from me. Um, let's do this. Oh, my. I had diamonds and chickens. Diamonds and chickens. So... That's beautiful. This will just be a whole animal area that I can come get animals from later. But what my big goal was, was uh, to get a enchantment table. So I'm not getting that yet. I already have the means to make one, but I just wanted one for free. Like I had earlier until one of my friends potentially stole it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they stole it. But I used to have one, so I don't know where it went. Uh, okay, we have one more lucky block here. Got some cake and saddles. Two more lucky blocks, actually. Uh, Lane the Miner. So I assume if I give you my pick, will you mine? Or are you just... Oh, so this was supposed to be a villager, but since we added that stupid Minecraft Comes Alive mod, now it's just a guy. Oh, I can marry him? Interact. Flirt. Yeah, you like when I flirt with you? Yeah, you like that. Interact. Hug. I'll hug you. You just nod your head at my hug? Yeah, how about die, Lane? Rip in pieces. Is that... 
Someone give, someone comes up to you and gives you a hug. It's just rude. Should've said thank you. Stupid idiot. All right. Uh, okay. No enchantment table. We can just make an enchantment table. I was just being lazy by making the lucky blocks. Got some apples and some animals out of it, so it was a good use of a shit ton of gold. Actually, it was kind of a waste, but I can just go mining later. All right. So I put my stuff away. I guess I will just move over to the enchantment room. The one of the reasons I was making an enchantment room, and I don't know if you can. I know you can craft name tags. I don't think you can craft enchantments. I wanted to get Silk Touch, and I know I could probably just steal it from one of my friends, but I'm kind of trying to act self-sufficient on the server, so I don't want to steal a bunch of shit from my friends. Uh, I wanted Silk Touch so I could put it on shears to try to get the mushrooms, because I think that is the way that you get mushrooms, and either way, I'd like to have Silk Touch shears for some other things, so. Uh, oh, I forgot to get my enchantment table, but uh, let's... Where are some shears at? Well, first things first, this will be more important than that. Um, I wanted to make an XP drain, and I had an interesting idea for this. I was going to put it in this tree. There's this outhouse that we had around my school when I was younger that was... Oh, this makes me sound like such a... Like a southern person oh that's such a terrible thing to say uh it's someone uh from the like a redneck or something but it's totally not it was a cool outhouse that was built in a tree i guess it was a dead tree because your tree's gonna die if there's a bunch of people shitting and pissing in it it's kind of a terrible thing to do to a tree anyways um i was going to essentially build like an outhouse up here that was kind of, you know, inconspicuous, you wouldn't see it, and then put an XP drain that leads into where I guess I will potentially have a bathroom. I tried to mess with this earlier, but I couldn't decide on a placement. So I think I will just place it back here, right? Yeah, uh, I guess right... No, because then I can't put a shower head on it. I want to do a shower head, too. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just place it right here. And then I'll put a shower head right here. And if I have a redstone torch, I believe, um, right diagonal to it, it won't turn on and then I'll have to do something with the redstone signal to make it to make the redstone torch turn off for me to turn the shower on I don't know it's a whole thing but for now let's put my XP in there god I cannot wait to get rid of the vacuum computer well I'll just have it clean and then we'll do other stuff but yeah let's drain my XP into these tubes this is the area where my bathroom's gonna be so I guess I'll create a bathroom underneath it I need to figure out how to bring my recipe bar up again because I need to look up how to make toilets and stuff. I'm all over the place, but this is what I feel like doing right now. Die. I changed into a bat so I could navigate this rainy weather without getting killed as a blaze, but I got some quartz and I need to use this marble that I have and I've been holding on to forever without doing anything with it, so this seems like the perfect opportunity to do that. I'm going to need to move my storage and there's a sheet ton of stuff in there, so... Uh, I don't know if I can do all this without moving it. I don't know. I'll just start placing some marble, I guess, and see where we get. This is going to be essentially the edge of the bathroom. So we'll just do like this. And we'll move the storage boxes later. And I'm going to chisel these out so they don't look terrible, too. I don't know where my chisel went. Hmm, that's right there, Ellen Carroll. Hmm. So what I want is, I want a shower, and then there's gonna be a seat. So imagine a ceiling up here, and I can even just put marble as the ceiling. Except let me leave a space uh, right here. So if there's like a block here, and a redstone torch on top of it. No, no, no. 
there's a block here and a redstone torch on top of it, then this shower head shouldn't work, I believe. Oh, and I need an XP shower drain head so you can see how it works. Okay, so you go like this and boom, XP shower. And I should also get a redstone torch just in case it starts sputtering and going all crazy. And I want to stop it. I could just do this in my little mini bar, but whatever. Okay, so I think if I have a torch here, it. Okay, see how it's not working now? Take the torch away. There goes that beautiful XP. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there and essentially build around that. And so we'll go like. Doo, 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 doo. Do, 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 do. We're going to want to hide our XP shower drain. I realized I used the quartz. I wanted to use the marble, so that was a fail. And let me know what you guys think I should have the interior look like, because that's the one thing I'm still kind of iffy on, as I don't know what I want to do for interior and making it mesh well with the exterior. That's the thing. Definitely open to some comment feedback about that because I want it to look like a beautiful mountain shroom lagoon household. I don't know. This marble's probably going to be temporary. You might see it change later, but I am just kind of trying to figure out essentially how to hide the XP drain, but also how to make the shower still work the way I want to, so. All right, uh, this is, I guess what my bathroom's going to look like. I'll change all of this up here. And then that, don't want that to look like dirt. Cool. Uh, so it still looks like a dirt on top, but I can just change that later. This might be too small for a shower. I should stand up and see what... <laughs> oh, cool. I can do lane now. Lane the miner. Um, well, that's real bad that I killed a miner, if you think about it. Uh, so this is okay. I'm going to want to put a grate or something here. So it looks like a waterfall shower. And I think I'm actually going to want to go down one. Yeah, let's do that. So this looks a little more like a bathroom now, I guess. It's kind of the tile I wanted. Uh, come on. There we go. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do about these glass panes. I'm, let's just go with that for argument's sake. So let's make a toilet. Place our toilet. Okay, so we have the toilet, which we will put right there. Just earn the achievement, clean yourself up, or get yourself cleaned up. Perfect. All right, I really need to move the storage, but I'm kind of just trying to, I, I guess, make an example of what the bathroom's going to look like, and I'm going to change it up a little bit. But, okay, so I'm going to need to add some redstone in for the XP drainer, and yeah, uh, I don't know. Stuff I'll do next episode, because right now I just want to make an enchantment table, and let's try to get some silk touch if we can. Where's my obsidian at? Alright, so, I don't think you need three, I think you just need two. From what I remember, let's get the diamonds and let's. Ow, oh, you're hurting me. Essence berries. Ow. Uh, what do I want to do? Grab some essence because I'm going to want to enchant. And then I can just get all the XP from the XP drain. Choo, choo, choo. All right, cool. And someone stole a lot of my essence. People, people are thieves. Uh. But now I have more, so it's fine. And I finally put the essence bushes down. 
Let's grab a book. Can I seriously not find a book? Oh wait, there's one right there. Okay. Enchantment table. Robots in disguise. Not really. Alright, and then... Where the hell did my other diamond go? Oh, I can make diamond dust. That's pretty. Did I... I'm all over the place today, I guess. I'm sorry. Apparently, I only brought one diamond with me. Don't need 37. Uh, let's go back up here. Boom, boom. Boom. That enchantment table achievement achieved. Achievement achieved. Enchanter. I might be more efficient to grab my axe, but you never know. Uh, okay, so this is my little enchantment table area design. I hope it works. Do the books not work when I... Uh, she... Okay, so... Let me get some levels. I think that's where I'm supposed to put it. I need some lapis, too. And... Come up here. And shower myself with XP. Oh, that feels good. Beautiful XP shower. There's some on the floor, too. I'll have to grab that. Uh, let's just get the 30. Around there. Okay, so... If I put a book in here, it only goes up to 26. I... What is it? This is a 5x5, five five, so do I have to chisel the books to original? Or did I do this design badly? I am not thinking straight right now. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like ending. I don't want to drag things on anymore. And this is kind of just a, me experimenting with more building and talking in this episode. So uh, I will make more adjustments to my area. For next episode, I'm going to be setting up my new computer, so I'll be recording this at a different location next time you watch, and no more vacuum noises, and there might not be an episode for four or five days because I need to set up my new computer, so I'm going to be recording at least three more videos today to try to get ahead, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Leave comment, feedback as always, and have a great day.